Thunder closes out the preseason tonight, taking on the Milwaukee Bucks at Chesapeake Energy Arena. I'm alongside Patrick Patterson. And Pat, you look through this four game preseason slate. All of your opponents have presented you guys with a different type of challenge. What is it going to be for you all tonight? Um, not worrying about who's on the opposite side, focusing on ourselves. Going out there playing Thunder basketball, you know, as coach has been preaching throughout training camp and all through our preseason, you know, pace, energy, defense, and sharing the ball and movement, passing, cutting on the offensive side of the ball. So just making sure we carry over everything we've been working on in these preseason games, everything we've been working on here in practice into this last preseason game and end it on a good note. As a veteran, how have you helped manage this process of pushing everyone forward in camp even though you've had some guys out with injury right right now um just reiterating all coaches points all throughout preseason all throughout training camp uh being that ear for uh teammates to talk to you know someone that you know they can confide in um and also just offering my knowledge of the game my experience and my thoughts so anytime in practice if i feel a certain way with a certain play certain scheme or if a teammate's not doing something that I think like they should be doing or if I just need to offer some words of wisdom or some help just not being afraid to talk. You've been in that starting group moving the ball on offense knocking down open jumpers when you have them on defense switching defending multiple positions how do you feel about your role on both sides of the ball right now? Oh it's good you know my thing is as long as I have a positive role on this team that's all that matters capitalizing on all my opportunities offensively, whether it's hitting jump shots, whether it's setting screens for my teammates to get good looks, or whether it's, you know, running in transition, or just help having my man, you know, stay out on me on the perimeter, which will open up the driving lane for Steve-O, or even for Russ and for PG and Dennis to get to the basket. Um, defense, just talking, communicating on my switches, making sure my mind is right with our schemes, and just finishing plays with rebounds. So just concentrating on all those little things each and every game. We've talked to both Paul George and Billy Donovan over the last couple of days about playing randomly, unpredictably. Why is that so important for you all to do that and, and not be able to be predictable for the opposition? Yeah, we, we don't want to be a robot. Um, we don't want to go out there and have to run a certain set over and over. We don't want to have to go out there and look at coach to run certain plays every single time. Um, we want to have freedom. Uh, we want to know what will work and what has been working and then realize what the defense is doing and try to take advantage of that. So not having to you know, rely on coach to call plays every single time, not trying to be robots out there and run to the same spots in the same area time and time again, or just be stationary and just watch teammates just dribble the clock out. You know, we got to realize our opportunities and we just have to play freely. That random basketball is what you all be working on in this final preseason game. And I know that you want to focus on yourselves, but I do want to ask you about this Bucks team. They have a very unique guy in Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then the ability to play with five out, five three-point shooters on the floor at the same time. Will this be a good test for you all tonight heading into the regular season? I think it will be a great test. You know, each team we played is different. Um, they have, you know, obviously different caliber players, and they run different offense, and they play differently on defense. So I think tonight's going to be a good test. Each and every person on that roster is capable of shooting a three, you know, whether it's at the corner, whether it's coming off the screen. So we have to be able to guard one through five on the perimeter. We have to be able to talk our switches. We have to be able to contest shots. You know, we have to defend the three quite well. And uh, I think tonight it's going to be a great challenge for us because one through five, they're spacing the floor. Uh, they're picking and popping, picking and rolling, and they're getting great looks on the perimeter. So we have to do a great job of containing all that.